Hey everybody, Eli again here to talk to you a little bit about using copper as a medication. In front of me right now I have both Cooperman and Copper Safe, which are like the two copper medications that we offer here at our OSA locations. They're the standard uh, medication for say things like ick, velvet, and other protozoan diseases in both fresh and saltwater aquariums. Say you were running a quarantine tank at home, uh, you just bought some new saltwater fish and you want some sort of regime to uh, medicate these fish preemptively so you don't end up introducing something like velvet or ick into your home aquarium. It might be worthwhile to consider running a quarantine tank and running them through a full treatment of either Copper Safe or Cooperman as a preventative measure against these diseases. Both of these products are very easy to use. They're both very similar active ingredients, both being a copper-based substance, but they're both used in a very different manner. So with the Cooperman, this is kind of the old school standard uh, in terms of copper dosing. It's a lot more potent than things such as Copper Safe, which are like a chelated copper versus an ionic copper. So using these products, you end up with very different dosages. So if you have perhaps a very big system or you just want to be able to use something a little more potent, the Cooperman will get you a little bit further versus the Copper Safe, which takes a lot more product to reach a therapeutic dosage. As for testing these products, my go-to is the Hanna Checker here. The copper high range Hanna checker. It is the most accurate checker I've ever used. It's a lot easier to use than say something that you have to compare to a color chart and it gives you an exact reading within 0.02 uh, parts per million. So it's very accurate, very consistent and pretty easy to use to make sure that you are maintaining your copper at a therapeutic level. For our saltwater system here, we generally do run a therapeutic level of Cooperman because it's pretty easy to keep up on and we want to make sure that the fish that we're trying to sell to you guys are at much less risk of carrying things like uh, ick or velvet. So with this product, we're looking for a overall concentration of 0.5 parts per million, somewhere between 0.5 and 0.6. And you wanna keep it at that number for about two weeks uh, for your own uses to make sure that your fish are not at risk of spreading diseases. I am gonna give you guys a little bit of a rundown on using the Hanna Checker, the Copper Hanna Checker. I just conducted a water change on our system and I wanna make sure that our copper is reading at the proper concentration. So I figured I'd give you guys a rundown on how to use the checker to make sure that we are up to snuff. So with this checker, it's pretty easy. The instructions come with the model, of course, but first thing you wanna do is press this black button to get it to start up. You're gonna see it shows this add C1 and the press button is is blinking. So what that means is we want to load our cuvette with our 10 mils of water sample into the checker. You always want to make sure before you add this sample into the checker that you've wiped off any grease or anything from the outside glass so you get a good reading. So I always wipe it down with a clean paper towel beforehand. And then we're just going to press this black button to see these uh, three bars blinking for a couple seconds. And now it has calibrated uh, against our blank, which was just uh, 10 mils of tank water. Now it says add C2 and the press button is blinking again. So we're gonna open it up, take this sample back out and we're gonna add the copper reagent to it. So the nicest thing about this Hanna Copper Checker is that there's only one single reagent that has to be added. It's all pre-measured for you in this little packet here and pretty easy to add. And then in pouring it in, you just wanna make sure that you get as much of the powder out of the packet as possible so you get the most accurate reading that you can possibly get. Close this vial back up and gently uh, shake it for about 15 seconds. And before adding this back into the checker, again, we wanna wipe it off, make sure that there's no fingerprints, no grease or anything on the outside of this vial. Then we can throw it back in the checker. Now, if you hold this black button for three seconds, one, two, three, you'll get a 45 second countdown. And at the end of this 45 seconds, it'll give us our reading. All right, now that we've reached the end of our countdown, it's gonna produce our number for us. And it looks like our concentration is 0.27 after this water change. So I removed about half of the active copper from the water doing this water change. So I'm gonna have to dose a half concentration back into the system to make sure that we're back above 0.5. If you are using the copper safe, the number that you're gonna look for is about 2.0 or somewhere between 2.0 and 2.5 parts per million to make sure that you're reaching a therapeutic level with this product because it just is dosed a little bit differently. But for the sake of quarantine, running either of these coppers on their own and reaching this uh, therapeutic level for about two weeks is enough to ensure that you're not moving ick, velvet, and these other diseases into your aquarium. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions. Visit us in any three of our locations and check us out at osachoice.com for all your aquarium needs.